It's the latest fine for a troubled bank. Yes, and before all the charges were preliminary investigations, Friends Authority is now opening a formal investigation into the London-based bank here. Essentially, this $1 billion means that the bank is guaranteed to be represented should the case go to trial and should and if they would have to pay any fines and damages. Some would argue this $1 billion doesn't really mean anything to a bank as big as HSBC. Probably not, but the bigger implication here is that French authority is really trying to punish yeah. these banks that have been accused of tax evasion uh, for their clients. They're not going to let this issue wash by them anymore. Uh, but again, this all comes just five months after HSBC was already fined $53 million by French authorities uh, with a bail bond there. And three months after the same unit drew some fresh scrutiny from UK lawmakers there. You may remember when uh, Stuart Gulliver, Douglas Flint, the CEO and chairman of HSBC being grilled by lawmakers there. Uh, Gulliver perhaps he'd get even more of a grilling because of his own personal, former personal Swiss account that he had registered under a company in Panama. Yeah, but right. with all these big banks, so there is this expectation that more fines could be coming when we look down the line here. In fact, Deutsche Bank said they're close to reaching a settlement on this $1.5 billion deal on LIBOR there. This is a probe by U.S. and U.K. authorities there uh, on those interest rate manipulations. Okay, Gulliver we're saying that that Panamanian account was because of privacy. He actually did exactly, pay the yeah. taxes on his bonus and all of this stuff. But how is this all part of a radical transformation that HSBC says they've been going through since 2007? I mean, is this the latest, I guess, um, uh, weakness uh, on that transformation journey. Yeah, in fact, it's another hurdle, I think, uh, because when it, when you look at it, they say we've we've apologized, we've strengthened our tax compliances since 2007 when these allegations uh, surfaced here. Uh, but when it comes to these recent uh, fines here, HSBC seems to be doing another 180 on their tone there. They're saying, look, this bail bond, this decision has no legal basis. The bail is unwarranted and excessive. Excessive, they say, and they will appeal and, quote, defend itself as vigorously as possible.